Hey, what's going on? Tony here from Paradise Garage. You're gonna learn and you're gonna see how we built a custom aluminum framed gate and painted it with automotive finishes. So keep watching, here's the finished product. I just wanna show it to you super quickly. And then in the video, um, we're gonna go over every single step of the process and how you can use automotive primers and paints uh, to get uh, anything done, pretty much. You know, if you wanna paint gates, your Sony PlayStation, whatever. Uh, you can see how it came out good. We did a little bit of body work to it. We didn't go crazy. All right, so again, thank you for watching the video. I'm gonna be popping in and out with uh, voiceover like this. So I hope you like it. I'm gonna be telling stories, giving out details, extra info. Um, that wasn't directly you know, in the video. Sometimes it helps just, just talking about it. Um, and if you haven't, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, give it a like. Uh, and also, if you're a newbie in auto body, you wanna get into this stuff, check out learnautobodyandpaint.com uh, to get some free auto body training, okay? We've been helping people since 2010 with auto body. So, um, as we, we're gonna let these guys uh, pretty much wrap it up building it. I'm not a welder, I'm not gonna lie to you and say that I'm a professional welder, I'm not. Hired these guys, they came in, actually friends of mine, and um, they, they built this gate for me. Okay, um, so my work comes in after the gate's pretty much built. So they're here right now grinding everything down, getting it ready. So after they welded it up and grinded it, they sprayed it with an acid wash, okay, to remove all of the burn marks and whatnot uh, from the welds and then just hose it down, spray it down really hard. Um, and now what I'm doing is using a 220 grit sandpaper on a DA, dual action sander, what you see me using here. And we're gonna scuff the whole thing down, all right? So we can spray our epoxy primer on it. And now there's a lot of people asking questions. What's better, an epoxy primer or an etching primer? Now, long story short, an etching primer is more porous, so it absorbs moisture more than an epoxy primer. Okay, an epoxy primer is less porous. It has a good seal over metals. So it's a good idea to use epoxy primers over metals. And that's what we did on this aluminum frame and that's what you wanna do on metal cars as well. So uh, let's keep cranking. Okay, so we are going the extra mile. We're using some EGC uh, 2K glaze putty, all right? It's a 2% hardener ratio. It's like body filler, okay? It's like Evercoat or whatever. It's super thin though. All right, it's a very smooth glaze putty. And all we're doing here is filling in um, some of the seams, some of the pit holes in the weld marks, just to go the extra mile and make it look better. You know, we didn't really have to do this, but you know, it's a, it's a gate that's going on the front of my property. I said, why not? Let's just kind of hit these corners up so it looks nice. And we'll have more videos on doing body work and sanding and all that, but I didn't actually get some footage sanding this thing down, but all we did uh, was use a 320 grit, okay, knock all the high edges off, smoothen all this putty work out um, about 30 minutes after we set this up. And then we sprayed, we cleaned it off, we wiped it, we blew it off, right? Wiped it down with wax and grease remover, and we sprayed our epoxy on top of that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and uh, finish this up and then mix up some epoxy. And I want you to pay attention very closely when I start showing you how to mix this epoxy. All right, so we'll get to that uh, in just a bit. Talk to you soon. So we're mixing a batch of Shopline JP375. Now take a look at this, this is unmixed paint. And I want you to look at the drips, super, super important. My father taught me this when I was 13, 14 years old. Uh, when I was starting to mix paints. Um, look at how sticky this is. Look how long, this is real time. Look how long it takes for it to start dripping. Okay, this is when you know your paint is thick. You can also tell by looking at the stick and seeing that it, you can't see through the stick. If you can see through to the stick, you reduced it and mixed it too thin. But look at how gummy, okay, it's dripping very slowly. Look how gummy that is. Now, wait, until you see me add the hardener and reducer in it. So this is basically a two to one mixture with 10% hardener. So if you look at here, if I filled it up to the number three line on the left, 
I have to fill the hardener up to the number three line on the, the top section right there, okay? So that ensures that you're doing a two to one mixture. And then you can add about 10% or more of reducer to thin it out so you can spray it out of maybe a smaller tip size, okay? That's a solution. So I'm adding a little bit of reducer, not a lot, okay? And, and this is why being able to mix paint and check out the drip consistency is super important. So now this is real time. Look at how it's dripping now, okay? Look at that. Just look at it. <laughs> See, it's like a one, two, three. So that's a good mixture um, to come out of a 1.3 or 1.4 tip size. 17 foot aluminum frame for an automatic gate. Okay, we're gonna custom paint it, but not a crazy color. Uh, we're just gonna go with a gloss black. Okay, so if we take a look at what we have here, I just figured why not, let's just kind of smoothen out some of the welds, uh, you know, just, just lightly, things like this. Nothing crazy, mostly the corners. Take a look below here, the corners, you know. Uh, so now we got prepped up aluminum. So what we're gonna do is we already mixed up our epoxy primer, okay? We thinned it out a little extra because we're gonna be spraying it um, out of a 1.4 tip size, okay? So all you gotta do, you know, primers are meant to spray out of a 1.7, 8, 2.0 to get the thick material on. But because we're using a 1.4, we're gonna use this for spraying our black as well. Uh, we just reduced it very little bit. Then we're gonna be able to just coat this whole thing. So we're gonna spray this with epoxy, give it a coat, nothing crazy, just to dust it. And then we're gonna put two coats, of, put two coats of acrylic enamel. And this is, it's been sitting for a while. You know, here in Hawaii, the top gets rusted, but the inside is still good. All right, here we go. I'm spraying um, at about 16 to 17 PSI. Now you're gonna ask me, why am I spraying at such a low pressure? Uh, it's because number one, I wanted to keep the overspray down. And number two, this gun was just spraying so nice at that low of a pressure, I said, why not? You know, it's not like we need to atomize so much where we need a glossy finish. Now, of course, we're just sealing it here with an epoxy primer, okay? Normally, if you're spraying a car, you're gonna be putting uh, or doing body work, okay? Large panels you're redoing or whatever. You're gonna actually, after you spray two or three coats of your epoxy like this, you're gonna to want to filler prime it. You're gonna to wanna to put a 2K filler primer on top of that, two coats, give or take. Uh, block that out. And then you could paint directly over that or you can do the extra step and put a sealer on top of that and then put your base coat, clear coat, or your single stage enamel. But this is a gate. So all we did was coat it with our uh, epoxy right here, two coats. We didn't even sand it. You know, we made sure we sprayed it on uh, where it wasn't dry, where it was spraying on kind of glossy, as you can see here. You know, we put a good, put a good coat on it. You know, we don't want to really have a dry coat on it because the drier it is, the more porous it is. The wetter it is, the better it can seal. Okay, and this is an epoxy, so it's, it basically has a better sealing uh, compound to it than a regular 2K filler primer, okay? Um, but so after this, I didn't even sand it. We just sprayed two heavy coats of single stage acrylic enamel, and it came out really good, okay? Um, of course, when you're doing body work on a car, the method is a little bit different, but Give or take, it's it's the same as well. You know what I mean? So I hope you're learning something from this. Now, when you're doing any type of work using the same gun, you want to make sure you clean your guns after you're done. You don't have to clean it in between coats. But when you're done with primer, spend five minutes and clean it. Sorry, I got my dog in the background making funny noises. <laughs> Okay, so I got some single stage acrylic enamel off eBay. It's called XL Auto Body Products. Pretty good black if you ask me. Um, let's talk about paint for a minute. Eight two to one means eight parts of your paint, two parts reducer, if you can see the text there, one part hardener, okay, which is optional. But when you're spraying single stage or any kind of acrylic enamel, you always wanna put hardener. It's gonna dry harder for you, it's gonna, be more durable, it's gonna last longer, okay? Because you could spray this stuff without a hardener, but you don't wanna do that, okay? Correct way is to get hardener. Anyway, um, we're setting it up here. They recommended a 10 PSI cap pressure. 
Nobody measures cap pressure, okay? We're not using a pressurized spray gun system here. No, hardly people do that with automotive painting. Okay, so we're measuring um, from the digital gauge that we have there. And normally, you wanna be spraying single stage at anywhere from 24, 25, 26 PSI trigger pulled. Um, with this spray gun, for some reason, it can really get a good gloss, and I was spraying at about 18 PSI. I upped it up a little bit um, from spraying our primer, just a little, 18, but I think I was spraying at about 18 or 19 PSI, and it was laying on really well. Uh, our reason why was because I wanted to keep the overspray down because I had my garage doors open. I couldn't close the garage door because this thing was just so big and there was no way, I, I couldn't even fit in the garage as you can see. Um, and I, part, I painted part of my house, but look at it. We're laying it on and we're not afraid to lay it on, okay? Single stage enamel when you're painting cars or pretty much anything, you want to lay at least at the minimum two medium wet heavy coats. Okay, and the first coat is always going to come out. I wouldn't say it's the first coat will not come out as glossy as your second coat. Okay, you want to get it on glossy, but you might have some of that texture, some of that orange peel. You might be like, man, it's not looking good. But the second coat always does wonders. It does magic. So make sure you're putting on two heavy to wet coats. Okay, don't be shy on your first coat. Just give it a coat as like I'm doing right now. You know, the tricky part about painting a frame like this with a lot of corners and areas to get into is that you have to paint on an angle. So if you look at me, I'm painting on an angle, you know, facing up to get in between the bars and then facing down. Um, but you get it done, you know. I'm not using, I didn't want to narrow my fan too narrow because if you do that, you could run because you're going to get more paint come out at a narrowed fan tip and it's just gonna lay on sometimes you're just gonna screw up because it's just so narrow and when you have a narrow paint pattern you're getting a lot of material come out in such a little pattern that it's easy to run you know it's easy to screw up and, and just get too much paint and so anyway I hope you enjoyed the series this is pretty much it you know we're gonna have a lot more car customizing projects and, and paint videos coming out soon but let me know, comment down below your main takeaways of this. Hope you liked it, hope you learned something. And if you're a total newbie, you wanna learn how to do this stuff, don't forget to check out learnautobodyandpaint.com by clicking the link at the top right of this video uh, in the cards section or in the description down below. Click that, get your free auto body training um, because you could do this with pretty much, any, you could paint anything with automotive paints, anything you can think of. Um, you could just bang it out and get it done and, and make it come out nice. All right, it's Tony here. Thanks for watching. We'll just close it off, show you the finished product. Hope you like it. And uh, again, don't forget to share, uh, like the video, comment below. Let me know what you thought again. And um, I'll see you in the next videos. Bye. Hey, what's up? Tony here. And we just painted this gate frame. Um, with the Atom X 88 spray gun. And it came out great. Um, one thing we screwed up on was I ran out of hardener. So I had to use another brand hardener um, at the very end. And it gave me a little chemical reaction. So I had to stop spraying. Um, there's two coats on here. I wanted to put three coats. It came out pretty glossy, not bad for, you know, a single stage paint job, as you can see. Um, it looks great. And you know, it's just a gate frame. So you could use automotive spray guns to basically paint anything. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut these slats, put them in, and uh, the gate will be done.